Hello, in this video I am going to solve one exercise question from chapter number 2 from book topics in algebra. So question is in the following determine whether the system described are groups. If they are not point out which of the group axioms fail to hold. To solve this question first of all we have to recall definition of a group. So, a non-empty set G is said to form a group if in G there is defined a binary operation say dot such that number 1 for any two elements say A B in G, A dot B is again in G, we call this property as a closure property. Number 2 for any three elements say A B C in G, we have a dot b dot c is same as a dot b dot c we call this property as associativity. Third one is there exists an element say e in g such that a dot e is equal to e dot a is equal to a for all a in g we call this element e as a identity and we call this property as existence of identity. Fourth one is for all elements A in G, there exists an element A inverse in G such that A dot A inverse is equal to A inverse dot A is equal to E. We call this property as a existence of inverse. Now we are ready to solve our question. So first given set is the set of all integers and the given binary operation is multiplication of sorry subtraction of integers. So, for g equal to z, if a and b are any two integers, then a dot b by definition is equal to a minus b and we know that subtraction of any two integer is again an integer, therefore closure property holds here. Second one is consider three integers 1, 2 and 3 in z then observe that 1 dot 2 dot 3 by definition will be equal to 1 minus 2 minus 3 which is equal to 2 and 1 dot 2 dot 3 is equal to 1 minus 2 minus 3 which is equal to minus 4. So, here we have 1 dot 2 dot 3 is not same as 1 dot 2 dot 3 therefore associativity property fails. Thus the given set G with the given binary operation will not form a group. Next set is the set of all positive integers and the binary operation is usual product of integers. So, here g is z plus z plus consists of all positive integers means z plus is the set 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. Number 1 for any two positive integers a dot b is equal to a b and we know that product of any two integer is again an integer. So, closure property holds. Also, for any three integers we have a dot b dot c is equal to a dot b c which is equal to a b c and again a dot b dot c is equal to a b dot c which is equal to a b c. Therefore, a dot b dot c is same as a dot b dot c. So, associativity property holds here. Next property is for an positive integer a, we know that 1 is also a positive integer and we can observe that a dot 1 is equal to 1 dot a is equal to a. Therefore, one plays the role of identity element here. So, identity element exists for the given binary operation dot. Fourth one is consider a positive integer 2. Now, observe that there does not exist any positive integer say a such that 2 dot a is equal to a dot 2 is equal to 1. Therefore, 2 inverse does not exist for the given binary operation thus the given set G 
with the defined binary operation will not form a group. Next set is set G with the elements A0, A1 up to A6. Now here binary operation is defined as A dot J will be equal to A sorry A i dot A j will be equal to A i plus j provided the sum of i plus j is less than 7 and A i dot A j is equal to A i plus j minus 7 if the sum of i plus j will be greater than or equal to 7. They have also elaborated here see the product of A 5 with A 4 will be equal to by definition A 5 plus 4 minus 7 and which is equal to A 2. Since here I is 5 and J is 4 then I plus J will be equal to 5 plus 4 which is equal to 9 and 9 is greater than 7. So, their result will be this thing A 5 plus 4 minus 7 which is equal to a2. So, this is our binary operation. Now, you can pause the video and observe all the calculations I have done here and from this calculation we can conclude that closure property holds for given set G with given binary operation. And following the similar calculations you can check that associativity property also holds. Okay. Now, third one is A0 is the identity element. Why so? Observe that for any AI in given set G, we have A0 dot AI is equal to AI. Since here I is always strictly less than 7. Okay, because the range of i is from 0 to 6. Therefore, a0 is the identity element. So, here identity element exists. Next is for any a i in G, observe that a7 minus i will be inverse of a i. We can check this a i dot a7 minus i is equal to a i plus 7 minus i which is equal to a 7. Now, 7 is equal to 7. So, its result will be a 7 minus 7 which is equal to a naught and here a naught is our identity element. So, for any a i in G a 7 minus i will be its inverse. So, for given set G all the four axioms of group hold. Therefore, the given set G with the defined binary operation becomes a group. Fourth one is G is the set of all rational numbers with odd denominators and the binary operation is the usual addition of rational numbers. So, here G is set of all rationals where this denominator Q will be an odd integer. So, first one is if P1 by Q1 and P2 by Q2 are any two rational numbers, then P1 by Q1 dot P2 by Q2 will be equal to P1 by Q1 plus P2 by Q2 and uh, we know that how to add two rational number. So, by doing that addition, we will get a rational number in this form. Now, observe that as here both the denominators q1 and q2 are odd integers. So, their product will be again an odd integer. So, this resultant rational number will be again a rational number with an odd in odd denominator. So, this rational number will be again an element of our given set G. So, here closure property holds. Second one, consider the three rational numbers p1 by q1, p2 by q2 and p3 by q3 in g. Now, observe that p1 
पी वन बाय क्यू वन डॉट पी टू बाय क्यू टू डॉट पी थ्री बाय क्यू थ्री अगेन यू कैन पॉज दी वीडियो एंड ऑब्जर्व दी कैलक्युलेशन सो हियर रिजल्ट ऑफ दिस इज द रेशनल नंबर ऑफ दिस फॉर्म अगेन दिस विल बी अ रेशनल नंबर विथ ऑड डिनोमिनेटर बिकॉज ऑल दी क्यू वन क्यू टू एंड क्यू थ्री आर ऑड इन टीचर सो देर प्रोडक्ट विल बी अगेन एंड ऑड इन टीचर अगेन फॉर पी वन बाय क्यू वन डॉट पी टू बाय क्यू टू डॉट पी थ्री बाय क्यू थ्री यू कैन ऑब्जर्व दी कैलक्युलेशन सो रिजल्ट ऑफ दिस विल बी दी रेशनल नंबर ऑफ दिस फॉर्म विच इज सेम एज अवर प्रीवियस रेशनल नंबर सो फ्रॉम हियर यू कैन से दैट पी वन बाय क्यू वन डॉट पी टू बाय क्यू टू डॉट पी थ्री बाय क्यू थ्री इज सेम एज पी वन बाय क्यू वन डॉट पी टू बाय क्यू टू डॉट पी थ्री बाय क्यू थ्री सो असोसिएटिविटी प्रॉपर्टी होल्ड्स नेक्स्ट वन इज जीरो इज इन जी वाई बिकॉज डिनोमिनेटर ऑफ जीरो इज वन एंड वन इज एन ऑड इन टीचर सो जीरो इज एन एलिमेंट ऑफ जी नाउ दिस जीरो विल एक्ट एज एन आइडेंटिटी एलिमेंट Why so? Because if p by q is any element of set G, then p by q plus zero is same as p by q in G. Thus, zero is an identity element. Therefore, identity element exists for given binary operation. Last one is for any given element. of a group g that is for any given rational number p by q minus of p by q will be its inverse because p by q plus minus p by q will be equal to 0 and 0 is our identity element so for every rational number in g its inverse will exist in g therefore existence of inverse property holds thus the given set g that is set of all integers with odd in odd denominator with binary operation as the addition of rational numbers will become a group thank you